What's up people probably wearing Vans today we're gonna learn how to make a custom checkerboard pattern like the one you see here in Adobe Illustrator. So opening up Illustrator I'm gonna start a new file. It's gonna name this checkerboard. Uh, for the width and the height I'm gonna choose a thousand pixels. You can change that here. Uh, for the color mode I'm just gonna go RGB and let's click OK. Okay. Um, first thing I want to do is I have a uh, stroke and a fill. I'm going to take away that white stroke, I mean that white fill. Then I'm going to swap the black stroke for the fill. So we just have a black fill like this. Okay. And now I'm just going to click on the rectangle tool. You can hit M on your keyboard. And I'm just going to click in the uh, artboard just so I get this uh, dialog box here. Um, these are the uh, dimensions I want, 100 by 100 and just click OK. All right. Now I'm just going to align this to the top corner. So I'm going to go to the Align panel. If you don't see it, you can go to Window Align here. And uh, make sure you're aligned to Artboard. I'm just going to align it to the horizontal left and the vertical top, just so it's snug against the corner there. And now I'm just going to do a Transform Move. So Object, Transform, make sure you're make sure it's uh, still selected. So yeah, uh, object, transform, move. And we're going to move this horizontally 100 pixels. Preview it so we can see it like that. Then I'm just going to click copy. And uh, now I want to duplicate that transform. So a way to do that is you can go up here, but if you see the command is command D, just object, transform, oops, transform again. And we're just going to keep doing that until it goes to the end of the artboard. And then we're going to do one more. So there's one hanging off like this. Um, you can see it a little bit here, but just uh, try to click every other uh, square. And just hold shift so you can uh, highlight multiple squares at a time. And let's turn this yellow. We'll do a little taxi cab uh, look. And uh, yeah, so it should be like this with, yeah, still this black one hanging off. Now highlighting everything, we just want to shift this whole row down and to the left again. So go to Transform, Move. It went horizontal 100 pixels, but we want to go negative 100 pixels. And we want to go down 100 pixels like this. So just uh, toggling the preview, it should kind of look like that. Copy. And now that we have this uh, set up like this, we just need to get rid of these hanging ones. So using the direct select tool, I'm just going to click these two squares and get rid of them. And now we're just going to make another transform just with this pattern now that we have it tick tocked horizontally and vertically. Just going to transform and move that down and copy it. So transform move. We want to go zero horizontally and vertically we want to go 200 this time since we're accounting for both rows. So it should kind of look like that and click copy and then command D just to get the rest of the copies to go to the bottom of the artboard. All right. Now we have, uh, now that we have this, we can uh, kind of play around with it to get uh, the looks that we want, but um, to make it easier, let's just uh, click one square and you'll see that it's only um, just this one. I'd like to highlight all of the black squares. So what I'm going to do is go to select, same, and fill color. So now I should be able to control that. I'm just going to go ahead and group this. Just go to object, group. Just make it a little bit easier, and I'm going to do with the same. I'm going to do the same with the with the yellow squares. Just uh, select one, select same fill color. Make sure I have them all. That looks good, and then I'm going to group that. Okay, so now we should have all of it separated, like this. Um, I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. Um, now that I have a, uh, now that I have this uh the selection of black squares. I kind of want to do a custom gradient. Um, so I'm just going to click gradient like this. And uh, this isn't really what I want to see. 
I want uh, a smooth gradient going through instead of all of the black squares having the same gradient. So I'm going to go to Object, Compound Path, and Make. And now, as you can see, they have that clean gradient going from across. And so now we can pretty much do whatever we want with this uh, with this pattern and give it all types of uh, cool fills. So I'm going to open up some gradient swatch libraries. I'm just going to go to Spectrums here. And I'm going to click just the Spectrum here. I think that looks nice. And yeah, instead of this... Uh, this yellow. It's going to turn this black. Yeah, and that uh, you know kind of gives a, a little bit more, a little bit more uh, you know customization to your checkerboards. Um, so yeah, now that we have this, we can uh, make this into a pattern of itself, just highlighting everything. It's going to drop this into um, our swatch panel, so we have this uh, new swatch, and I'm just going to draw a big circle. Let's change it to our pattern. And yeah, now we, you see we have this uh, cool custom pattern. Um, you can play around with this a little bit, um, hitting S on your keyboard. You can go to scale, make sure you deselect transform objects so it's just transform patterns. And you can kind of play with the scale of it a little bit, you know, depending on what uh, what kind of look you're, you're going for. And yeah, even if you want to uh, change it just... Um, just a little bit, just kind of want to nudge it, nudge over the pattern. A way you can do that is with the uh, selection tool highlighted. Click your circle and then hold the tilde key. It's uh, that kind of wiggly line beside the one on your keyboard. And click and drag and you can see this like extra little box. That's going to kind of drag the pattern to, uh, yeah, wherever you want it. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Uh, quick video, just... Uh, Something that's not very obvious how to do an illustrator. Um, yeah, and you can make your own like van shoes or like you know make a taxi driver poster or something like that. Uh, just make some cool designs. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.